Library Bowl is a resource space at Cardiff Metropolitan University, which is dedicated to supporting the enactment of Froebel's principles and practices. The development of T Froebel began in 2021 um, with a vision for it to become a centre of excellence, uh, a place where we advocate Froebel's ideas and support um, a growing interest in his principles and practices here in Wales. At T Froebel, we're placing a particular emphasis on the application of Froebel's ideas, his principles and practices, really in relation to curriculum for Wales. In Wales, at the moment, there is a particular emphasis and focus placed on practitioner inquiries. We are encouraging practitioners to become research engaged. So at T Froebel, Sean and myself work with practitioners to look at elements of curriculum for Wales and see how they are aligned to and able to be supported supported by enacting Vogel's gifts and occupations. The four purposes within Curriculum for Wales, they represent a, a shared vision and aspiration for every child in Wales. And so over time, Jenny and I have come to identify some synergies between the principles. So one of the four purposes connected through Curriculum for Wales is about children being healthy, confident individuals ready to lead fulfilling lives as valued members of our society. Within that, when we unpick it, we want children to be developing a sense of confidence, a sense of resilience and empathy uh, with the others around them. It's about taking measured decisions, managing their own risks, and forming positive relationships. And this really resonates with the Frobelian principles that we now come to see around the idea of unity and connectedness. So the child being connected to their school, their setting, their friends, their families, uh, and the wider communities. I think the spaces in T Froebel, they're allowing the children to follow their own interests, to become confident in the ways that they are working within those spaces. We also see children within these spaces acting as autonomous learners. So it's about starting where the child is and what they can do rather than what they cannot. Using the grant given to us by the Froebel Trust enabled us to create a small scale project, the intention of which was to really initiate a reflective dialogue between all stakeholders within the early years workforce. The project began with some professional dialogue with staff from the school and the aim really was to develop knowledge and understanding of Froebel and his ideas through a process of critical inquiry in relation to Curriculum for Wales. The project then moved on and we invited the morning nursery class to come to T Froebel for weekly sessions across the summer term. One of the examples that we were given whilst we were reflecting with the teachers was about a little boy called Harry, who at school, we were told, was seen to struggle with his engagement and concentration, but was notably different across the sessions at the house. He became a very keen gardener across these sessions, eagerly weeding the raised beds, watering the herbs, the flowers. Within these experiences at the house, he was able to take turns, waiting for others to use the equipment in the garden. He was able to help others. He was uh, quite physically strong and would often be seen carrying the water can with or for other children. Through these experiences, Harry was able to demonstrate his ability to concentrate, his ability to engage with the spaces, and I think the way in which the adults and the children inhabited the spaces together created an environment within which Harry was able to seek and enjoy challenge and show himself as an ambitious, capable learner. Evidence from the project really demonstrated the benefits of the open-endedness of the gifts and occupations children access and engage with these materials freely and at the stage where they are at. The insight that we gained from this project was really that we were able to identify empirical evidence of the synergies between the four purposes and Frobelian principles. Moving forward, as a research team, Sean and I will start positioning these insights as a starting point for further inquiries and ongoing professional dialogue in association with T Froebel. I think advice for practitioners embarking on this journey, I would say start small and always work in collaboration with others in your setting. 
having professional dialogue, uh, engaging in reflections and reading is always more beneficial if you're doing it with others that you work with. I definitely start with the principles pamphlet on the Frobel Trust website and use that as a way into his work and then accessing the other pamphlets and more wider reading around his work. <laughs>